Yeah, an ultrasound scanner uh, with some uh, new and uh, essential uh, wonderful features uh, which I'll demonstrate with a brief presentation shortly. Um, it's probably the best time to give you the good news that yesterday I had a, an email message from the British Heart Foundation that our application has been approved. Oh, so good. this isn't uh, an exercise in futility. We now have a clear commitment uh, from to put some um, um, flesh on the bones of this notion, the scanner and what it can it do, to try to demystify a bit all this uh, medical uh, jargon and uh, uh, what it's all about. I've prepared a very brief presentation to try to illustrate what with 3D echo, which is the same valve, and we can see it opening and closing with 3D echo. We can see the sewing ring, we can see the knots that the surgeon has placed on the sewing ring to such a level of detail that in fact you can see the two ends of the uh, knots as the surgeon has cut uh, the thread for some of the individual knots. And you can see the leaflets opening and closing very nicely. The, it is uh, my conviction, uh, and it, this is shared by my colleagues, that 3D transophageal echo, which is the technical name for the piece of kit that we're hoping to, to buy with this money, is essential if we are to provide good modern uh, 21st century patient care. Uh, right from its very beginning, in fact, uh, as a campaigner for the cardiac center in Swansea, it's a member of the health authority at that time. Say, this boy is inspirational. When I heard that he was only 14 and he was doing an event, I said to Birmingham, I'll be there tonight. Because I think I had two hours notice about your event. So, you know, I got there and I was just astounded about what, what you actually put on. The amount of work you put into it was, was excellent. Uh, Mitchell is a football supporter. Would you support? Yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and he'd also written away to Arsenal yeah. and Everton, yeah. and he'd and asked Everton. for memorabilia which he could actually auction on the night. And I think, was it the Everton shorts made of a £300? No, Liverpool shorts. Liverpool shorts made of a £300. So we've got a, a bidding on drugs in sure. I'd like to give you a little presentation. Certificate all your hard work from the Dutch Heart Foundation. Can you stand there, Cher? A little bit more. And again? A little bit more? Just a bit more? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because we had nurses from Cardiff coming down to the house to support Mitchell and help him through the operation. So he wanted to give, that's where it all started, he wanted to give something back. So he decided to organise a, a charity event which raised all this money for that certainly. The first thing to say is that I am uh, exceptionally grateful to Mitchell for. Uh, this wonderful um, gift to uh, the BHF. Uh, he worked very hard and uh, managed to raise funds that will allow us to uh, acquire a new technology, three-dimensional transophageal echocardiography, which is essential for the care we deliver to our patients. We'll be the first hospital in Wales to have it. Uh, our patients will won't have to travel anywhere else to have access to the best available imaging techniques now. Um, and this is indeed a very exciting and uh, momentous day for our whole department. Again, many thanks to, to Mitchell and to the BHF for their support.